This video will be my nighttime routine using castor oil on my face and all the other products I use. First off, I have one eyeshadow that I put on this morning. So I'm going to remove that. I have some eye makeup remover pads. Let me show you. So I have this Alme. This is a biodegradable, oil-free micellar. I think that's how you pronounce it. Eye makeup remover pads. So let me go ahead and do that. <clears throat> I just have on some eyeshadow and some mascara. Oh, and it's from, let me show you the palette. It's from this, this Jovias, the coffee shop palette. And you guys, I'm not a makeup artist or anything like that. I just kind of put two colors on and just swish it around my eyes and put some mascara on. But let me show you this. Here is this eye palette, eyeshadow palette. Okay, but anyway, let's get back on topic. Let me finish shaking off this eyeshadow. And I use one pad per eye. Okay. Let me clean my other eyelid. I flip it over and use the other side just to get any remnants left. All right, so I have the eyeshadow removed. So next, I'm going to go ahead and brush my teeth. Um, I have the Sonicare toothbrush, and then I use the Quet the Crest 3D wipe. I have this Cocoa Floss to floss my teeth. I'm not gonna floss my teeth on camera, guys. <laughs> Okay, so I have three different cleansers, I, and they're all from the same company, um, La Roche-Posay. I have this medicated gel cleanser. It has 2% um, salicylic acid. Acne medicine, it says it targets excess oil and helps clear acne breakouts. So there's this one. And then I also have this um, Tularane, this is also La Roche-Posay. Roche um, it says it's for normal to oily skin. It's a purifying foaming cleanser. And then this, this is fairly new. Um, this is new. I have this gentle, foam, gentle foaming cleansing oil. It says up to 24 hour hydration. And this, you can use it on your face and your body. I tend to use this in the morning. And then just depending on how, like what I've done throughout the day, if my face feels super dirty, I'll use this foaming cleanser. If not, I'll use this medicated gel cleanser. I use this if I have some breakouts, but actually lately I haven't been breaking out, so. So right now I'm going to use this. Oops, I'm going. <laughs> I'm going to use this. This um, purifying foaming cleanser. So let me go ahead and wet my face. And if you all have used any of these products, let me know. I'm actually I'm liking the oil cleanser. I, I really like that. But I'm not going to use that because I've been using the castor oil at night, and I just don't want. Yeah, no. Uh. Uh. I like to use the. The oil cleanser in the morning because I don't put the castor oil on my face in the morning. I just do it at night. So, okay, so I'm just going to go in. Sorry, I got bubbles floating around. I wish you all could see. I have like bubbles all floating all around me. It's funny. But anyway, let me go ahead and finish washing my face. I'm just doing it like upward strokes here. I sometimes I have a, like a little brush that I use to kind of um, scrub. This is a gentle scrubbing. So I just take a washcloth that's dedicated only for my face to rinse my face off. And actually, there's a couple things I forgot to do. 
So let me do those after I finish. So I forgot to take off my earrings. So let me take those off. And take off my bracelet and my watch. My hair is pulled back, but I usually... Hold on. <laughs> I have a lot of hair, as you all can see. My sister locks. I put this on to push my hair back. So now, okay, there. Oops. All right. So now I am going to... Hopefully you all can hear me. I forgot to um, hook up my microphone. Let me do that right now. <laughs> okay. Let me put this on. So hopefully you guys can hear me a little bit better. But I'm I'm just, I'm standing close to the camera, so you all should be able to hear me. But should be a little bit better now. Okay. So next step, I have this um, Dickens witch hazel. But you know what? I also have this micell micellar. I can never say that. This micellar cleansing water. I like this, guys. Oh, especially when I have on like full face, a uh, full face of makeup. This gets rid of any remnants I have left. Like, you know, I washed. I I use the eye pads. I use this to get off my eye makeup. Then I wash my face. But if I use this. See, I still have a little bit left of the eye makeup on my eyes, so I'm really liking it. See? Got a couple of eyelashes, but that's okay. Okay. So I'm just going to flip this over and use the other side. I'm going to put some on the other side here and cleanse the rest of my face. Okay. So now I am going to use the castor oil. I've been using, I've, you know, I've been alternating between the organic, the botanic hearth and the goodbye company. So I have um, a dropper, hold on. So I have a dropper and I've just been just putting it, whoop, Lord, putting some on my fingers like this and then putting it on the top portion of my face, like right here, my forehead, eyebrows, my eyes, eyelashes. Okay, like so. So I've just been using up here because I told you all what happened with the CPAP, so. So another issue I've had for all of my life, I've always suffered with dry lips. I use all types of lip creams. I have this lip mask here from Trader Joe's. I actually just bought this, this Beauty, Beauty Hacks lip mask. It's um, peach. Hopefully camera will focus on that. I haven't opened this yet. But I was thinking, I said, let me put some castor oil on my lips to see if it makes a difference. So that's what I'm going to do. I am going to put, I have some left over on my hand here. I'm gonna put some on my lip. Cause it should, it should be, um, By the time I go to bed, it should be well absorbed into my skin, so I shouldn't have any reactions with my CPAP. And one of one of the viewers in my other castor oil video said I should look into getting that, um, I think it's like an adenoid surgery, so I'll go to the EMT. Um, I'll think about it. I really don't like having surgery because I've had two emergent surgeries, not like cosmetic, like life and death surgeries. And I don't know if I can go, I don't know. So we'll see, we'll see. 
I really don't have I really don't have sleep apnea that bad. I have a mild case of it, so we'll see. But I'll look into it. I'll look into it. I'll go to the EMT. E N T. I keep saying E M T. E N T. Doctor ear, nose, and throat doctor, and see what they have to say. So, okay. So I have some on my lips and I'm thinking in the morning when I wake up in the morning that I'll go ahead and put some castor oil on my lips because if this castor oil can finally cure my dry lip issue, that in itself will be a miracle because like, I don't know I should if I can find it. I'll pull up a picture of me when I was a little girl. I think I was like in first grade or kindergarten. Smiling, lips just dry all around <laughs> my school picture. I'm like, my teacher could have told me my lips are dry. I could at least lick my lips really quick before I took the picture. Anyway, so yeah, if I can find that picture, I'll post it for you guys. But yeah, my lips, oh, they've always been dry. And I just constantly use so I'm putting more. I have the castor all over my hands. I'm just putting it on my lips. And so I just, you know, always use lipstick, lip gloss, all kinds of lip treatments. And it works, but it's only like a temporary fix. So if this castor oil can heal this once and for all, that would be awesome. And actually, I want to put some around this around. I put the castor oil on my lips. So I'm going to put it something around it like this. Okay. And I'll report back and let you all know if it's doing something for my lips, but thanks for watching. So this is my, so this is my nighttime routine. This is how I apply the castor oil to my face. Like I said, I do apply it to other areas of my body. But yeah, this is my nightly routine with the castor oil. And I, let me tell you, I have not had any breakouts since I've been using this castor oil. And like I said, I just use it up here. And I usually break out down here. I haven't had any breakouts, guys. So it's been, it's been over two months. No breakouts down here. None. None. I mean, I didn't break out in like crazy amount of uh, black heads or white heads, but I even in my 40s, I still suffered from acne. And since I've been using this castor oil, I have not had any zits whatsoever. Just that one reaction I had with the blisters. But as you can see, it's gone. It's completely healed. So. Um, uh, yeah, I'm happy. I'm really happy I started using this castor oil, guys. I'm glad I, I jumped on the bandwagon. I'm glad it's a popular topic because I would not have thought to use it in this way. So, all right. Thanks for watching. And again, I love reading your comments. If you've used any of these products, if you've used the Roche Posay, let me know. Oh, since I have you guys on here, so in the morning, you know, I don't use the castor oil. I use um, this cleanser, this um, La Roche Posay oil cleanser, or sometimes this. And then I also use this La Roche Posay, this glycolic B5 serum, dark spot corrector. And then for a moisturizer, I use the Roche Posay, this double repair matte moisturizer. Yeah, I love it. I guess you all can tell I like La Roche Posay. It works for me and it's not terribly expensive and it does a good job. Okay, so now I'm going to end the video. Thanks for watching.